Hey guys, don't forget to click the subscribe button and also check us out on Facebook. Thanks. So, here is the uh, design that I quickly did on SketchUp here. Um, these two pieces, so this is going to be the front. Uh, let's see here, file, unhide, all. There should be some hidden objects in here. Okay, I guess not in design, but I was going to show the bed. But, uh, here is the front, as you can see here, within the, uh, let me get rid of this, um, here you have a metal pipe, and you got a second one inside of it that's smaller, so what we're going to do is we're going to, um, cut a groove, so our bolts, when we bolt the seat on top of this, it can run. Um, actually a six front front piece off too. The front piece can be uh, just like one of those uh, L metal pieces. Um, so it's not too difficult. It's pretty simple design. Uh, and then uh, these two pieces right here, which hold the two uh, runners or the rails or whatever you want to call them. Uh, these are going to get mounted onto the uh, onto the existing uh, captain chair uh, that's already in there. So that's pretty much all framing we're going to need. Um, so for part two, uh, which I didn't put on this design, I just wanted to keep it simple. Um, the actuators are actually going to bolt onto these. And then we're gonna, you know, either closer or farther, uh, we can adjust them so that they'll push the chair back and forward. Uh, so let's get started on building part one. Alright, so we got the first couple steps done. We got the two captain chairs out, as you can see there, right behind me. We unscrewed, it was only being held by four screws, we got them out. So now we have a nice square area, so we'll get it cleaned up a little bit. Alright guys, so now that we got the back piece cut off, we're going to uh, measure where this is supposed to sit and weld it on. Alright, so we were able to cut the channel on the big piece of uh, tubing and then on the small piece, as you can see our uh, bolt is going to run and it's going to be mounted on the seat and uh, on the bottom we have a little bigger hole so the bolt goes through. And then uh, we're thinking about putting a little wood piece so the wood can uh, run back and forth and grind on the metal and not this fabric. So you can see we did the other side. We uh, welded these two plates. So, all right, so here we have the bed on there. For now it's manual until we get the motor going. Boom, turns into the chair. And then all we have to do is push the chair back. Um, like that. Pretty nice. Alright. So there you can see the runner on the bottom, you can see the screws attached to the part, to the top, and uh, there's the wood runner, you can see the channel in there, small piece, 
So now the next plan is to uh, sand all of this down in the next episode. Sand all this down. Uh, put a center brace. Put the actuator motor on there. Uh, paint all this up. Uh, uh, episode 3 might be tearing all these, all this out, putting in a uh, laminate flooring, quite a bit of work left. Um, so as you can see we didn't, we didn't have to take these out, um, we just used them. So uh, as you can see we got some rubbing here as expected, so after we sand this down paint it, we're going to put some kind of a strip from here to here, um, maybe wood with some fabric on it. Uh, because we do have the 1 16th or 1 8th so we're gonna put a 1 8th uh, wood piece here put some fabric so we won't get any dirt on the back of the seat uh, but thanks for sticking around for episode 1 uh, episode 2 we're going to uh, we're gonna get this done